This one is on Darkfall. Three seven five, is that the DPS of a herb? Is it? I don't know why you did it, Ajax. Well It looked cool. Two thousand DPS. Uh <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoa, what the hell? This is Oh, this is I'm just gonna say this is dumb. So we got Oxide Ion in the red Cybern and Blast Shield playing Aeon. Uh, two ball players. So much ball. Everyone and their mother is in ball clan, it seems. So let's see. The reason I said this is stupid is the spawns. It's a 10k map, but you're kind of in from the side. And also, like, this is like. 2k away from each other. It's like this is retardedly close spawns. So uh I don't know who decided this but it's really dumb and you should be ashamed. It's like 7k DPS. Hmm yeah. So let's see, we're just gonna see land probably, okay, oxide going for air. Let's see what happens. Blast Shield only planning land. So Darkfall, the most important factor of Darkfall is the like million energy reclaim in trees. I don't know if it's a million, but it probably is. All of these trees are grouped and you can probably make a ras off them pretty easy. So abuse that uh, and if your opponent doesn't abuse it, you can probably win. You should also kill your opponent's trees with scouts so they can't use them. So, any labs? I would definitely make labs here. We got a hunter for oxide. We have this guy gonna grab some mass and probably expand to the back. Yeah, what do you do with your ACU? I probably just walk into your opponent's space. Don't see where else you go. Second land factory halfway done. Similar story for oxide. And so <laughs> you don't simply retreat with your calm, yeah. Yeah, I think if Ajax just retreat and let his let his Althams do the work, I guess he's pretty much fine. Doesn't allow so many harps to get into range at once. This hunter has a tail. Striker is looking for him. Striker the dedicated lab killer. Good luck killing a striker with a lab. Air factory planned. He's gonna build factories simultaneously rather than build them together. As in one or he's gonna build them simultaneously rather than one at a time. But well, he's putting most build power into this land factory. Blast shield still in his base, making more factories. And Oxide has a better build order, it seems. <clears throat> nice eco balance. Minus one mass, that's pretty good. Enough power. He's gonna need plenty of power because, uh, well, unless he abuses the trees, he could just put an attack move here and get some trees and some of these rocks as well. <clears throat> but he's gonna need more power because there's a lot of mexes he has to take right now. Should uh, get this hydro pretty quick. Probably should throw down a PD here. It's unlikely you're going to always be able to defend it with uh, tanks. Oh, the selection sounds are so loud. Really wish my sound effects weren't fucked. Still no air planned for. Oh, it's. You can actually put uh, a T1 factory in here and get quadruple adjacency you should do that definitely do that because what other map can you get quadruple adjacency on so do it and then rush T3 in it and uh, win the game 
right? Sure. So, both players in mid. Where else would you be when you're spawned so close together? And this raid is going to get past sure, surely and deny these maxes. Last shield has already grabbed his. So, Oxide a bit faster to the back, but much slower to the side. And that's a nice NG getting some reclaim. This is MVP NG right now, I think. He's going to get so much, so much reclaim. And this guy's also trying to get some reclaim as well. These Mantis can run past. I think he has enough there that he should just <clears throat> run over them, get into the back lines. This original hunter is still alive because it didn't get an attack order from this striker. Hasn't killed anything, but uh, <coughs> this striker maybe could have been raiding across the map otherwise or something like that because it was very early. Last kill needs to be careful of his base. It's kind of kind of out of position. I, I think I would definitely be mixing in Arties because if at any point you do yeah we see Arties mixed in for Blast Child. If at any point you get the chance you could just walk into your opponent's base. And uh if you get the chance you wanna take it. Two kills and that's all she wrote. Bomber goes down just straight just into range of the railgun. Railgun's T1A towers have really nice range actually. Definitely make use of them. Good raid, killing these four mexes, and now he splits and moves to the back and each side up here and here to try and do as much damage as possible and to slow down the the mexes and to force end units to run back for as long as possible, reducing the number of units on the front lines. And we do have air from Blast Shield now. No transport for anyone. They haven't even grabbed all their mexes in the f first area, so they haven't gone for the plateaus yet. <coughs> plateaus are nice. You can actually grab tons of the tree reclaim from the plateaus, actually. And this NG. Oh, defended by. No, defended by the mechs for a second, but he still died. That is sad. There's actually no no NG back here. It's a pretty nice kill with the final shot of the striker. <clears throat> but the battle is go the the whole game is gonna be won and lost in mid between these two ACUs and Blast Shield has the better ACU and he has the better tanks, I think, as well. So I think Oxide Ion is playing the wrong faction, but um Last shield needs to be careful because Mantis could just run into range of him very quickly and do a lot of damage, but he has his units here now with him. PD goes up. Oxide Ion is forced to build that. And Blast Shield is actually standing in range of it for a bit too long. But now he's out of range, he's okay. And now all the units are back here, he's just gonna try and raid this again. PD is on the way. Good choice, I would like. I guess Last Chill just has enough pressure on that he doesn't even need to invest in defenses back here. This factory is going to suck up tons of reclaim. Uh, Oxide catches this NG that was getting free energy. That's a, a nice kill. This bomber isn't sure what it should be doing. It's just, just hiding. And yeah, Blast Chill's taking a lot of damage right now. All these Mantis are in range, and Mantis overhead, or is that a ghetto? No, those are Mantis, aren't they? No, it's a ghetto. And the ghetto is about to die. Blast Chill had enough air. So that's still pretty good for Oxide. He took a lot of HP off uh, Blast Chill. It cost him some tanks, but uh, he has a HP advantage on his ACU. Which is not what you would expect, Cybern versus EUEF. But now he doesn't actually have enough units. Blast Chill being a bit overzealous and not uh, being careful enough to take out the PD before he moved his tanks in. 
should grab as much reclaim as he can right now before he gets pushed back because uh, probably will get pushed back nice raid from oxide kill these mexes here a lot of dead tanks there and he's gonna try oh if he, he can target these pigeons target this energy storage that would be very good for him last chill gun balls to the wall gonna walk into another pd that's just been rebuilt all of his units can disappear very quickly in this situation he does retreat there does yeah the energy storage is taken out and units are forced to retreat and defend his power. Oxide sitting on 7.5k, 25 vet. He has one vet level. Last shield has one as well, but he's closer to his second. These tanks, 3 and 4 kills. These mechs denied. No one going for the sites whatsoever. Uh, this energy reclaim is pretty sexy it's gonna pay for his gun right now let's see let's see 150 like he just has like so much extra it's just like having five or six extra p gens basically and you get mass for it as well pd goes up to defend the acu from any push and yeah gun is going quick. Oxide I don't think has any of this energy uh, reclaim. Let's see the reclaim numbers. So yeah, Blast Shield has double the mass and in terms of energy Oxide has none. Blast Shield has 15k. Blast Shield also has 12 more mass income right now. It's pretty impressive because of all these denied mexes back here. Pretty much. And the gun is done. Oxide is nowhere near done the gun. 48 seconds. It's pretty quick. Oxide needs to cancel and run away, I think. Making pigeons. Oh, look at if you overcharge this. That would be so tasty. Yeah, he cancels. Took a while to uh, to cancel that. Yeah, he did overcharge it. <laughs> and that was nice. I think this is the end. Not really enough arties in here, to be honest, but still, he's just gonna run in, doesn't care. Just use this gun commander. Did he rebuild his energy storage? I'm not sure, let's find out. He did. So he needs to overcharge these PDs, but actually... There goes that one, it got like 10 kills, this one on 7, doing a lot of damage to the ACU. Oh, please finish the PD. It's doing so much damage. I still think this is... This is kinda done. Last Jill just needs to keep firing, get a bit more vet. And he just has more units right now. Can raid this side. Bring an RT or two. All this power is great target, actually. I'm not sure he knows it's there, though. Oxide still fighting away. But without the gun... I think this is in vain. He's about to get another vet level. You can see he has just no units. And... Yeah, I think we'll see the kill now. The PDs are gone. The units move in. In this ugly shift G shit. It's just so hideous. I really hate it. But, uh... Yeah, blast chilled. Just gonna move in, kill everything with the gun. And uh, that should be that. Oxide trying to rebuild a new base over here. He has the power, he's making factories, but uh, Last Chill just got another vet. He now has more HP than Oxide's ACU ever did or will have. 95 kills. Now attacking the ACU. It's on 2k. Another great overcharge. And he actually let Oxide out of range, so this is gonna go on a little longer. Oxide moving under 1k. Oh no. He's not moving under 1k. <laughs> and that should be that. Blast Chill takes another one. Oxide with the meh. 
Yeah, he's not happy losing this game, but Blast Shield is taking some fucking scalps. Like, what the... Like, what? Last time I played Blast Shield, I think he was like... What was it? 1500, I think? I don't know what... What, uh... What rating he has now on ladder, but I... Never seen him beat some of these players, and he's beaten so many good players right now. It's very impressive. Who have we got? We have the final of the losers bracket. Who will be the biggest loser? Mephi versus Blast Shield. 